Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication and division facts. This is standard 3.4F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple problem here, about four erasers on each table, and there are five tables in the classroom. We need to find the total number of erasers of, on all the tables, but there's no answer choices to choose from. It's not multiple choice, it's a free response. So we need to figure this out on our own, and then try to see if we can fill it out on a bubble sheet or an answer document. We'll see what that looks like right at the end of the video. But let's look at the problem itself. There are four erasers on each table. So I'm just going to draw. Well, let's just let's just pretend we've got a table here. So here's my table. It's going to look like this. Get some There we go. So there's there's my table. And I'm going to have four erasers. So Oh, I know they're not going to be circles, but just for ease, let's just make them circles. So now I've got a total of 5 tables. So let's just draw five tables. So I'm just going to draw a picture here. This is going to help me with my problem. And I will show you that there are a few other ways that you could solve this. So drawing a picture always helps. There's my second table. Now I've got a total of eight erasers. Some of you, if you know this fact, you could answer this question immediately. And that's fine. What I want to do is I want to show you different ways that you could just double check your work in case you have this on a test. This is one of the easier questions, so you don't want to get it wrong because you go really fast. So we've got three tables. Here's my fourth table. Some of the other things we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at repeated addition. We'll be looking at skip counting. You notice my tables are getting to be different sizes. I can't even draw the same shape table, and that's fine. All I really need are those four erasers on each table. All right, let's double check to make sure I have done the drawing correctly. I've got four erasers on each table. Check, 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 check. And then I've got five tables. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yes, so we are good to go here. So let's just count. I've got my five tables. I'm just going to use this as my skip counting. Right, so I'm just going to say 4, 8, 12, 16, and then 20. So it looks like that might be my answer 20. Two different multiplication facts I can use. I can say I've got five groups of four. And if you don't know your fours, you can use the commutative property, which is the order property. You can flip the factors. Because most of us know our fives, right? We can count by fives four times. So this five times four is what we saw right here. That's 20. And that's skip counting four, eight, 12, 16, 20. But if you know there's a five and a four, you can easily flip. And like I said, this is the commutative property. And I'll write that for us right here, the commutative property. It lets you flip the order of either addition, add-ins, or multiplication factors, and you still get the same answer. So what this turns into is 5, 10, 15, 20. So you're still going to get that 20. If you wanted, you could have done repeated addition. right? You could have done either way. You could have done 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, that would get you 20. Or if you were thinking more of the 5s, right, just make sure you add your 5 four times, 5, 5, 5, and 5. Now, how do we bubble this in? Well, you're going to get a bubble document that looks kind of like this. And you're going to handwrite your answer up at the very top. Just make sure they're not labeled. You're going to need to know that's the 1s place, that's the 10s place, and that's the 100s place. So if your answer is 20, you have to make sure you put it two tens, zero ones. And there's your answer. 